Welcome to the Pinellas County Flood Map Service Center. Chrome is a recommended browser for this service. You will also want to enable pop-ups and zoom out to about 80%. To zoom out, click on the three dots at the top of your browser, zoom out to 80%, and click the dots again to close the window. You can click the Help button for instructions on enabling your pop-ups. This tutorial will cover how to use the FEMA Flood Insurance Rate Map, referred to as the FIRM, and the FEMA Preliminary FIRM to find out your flood risk and flood insurance requirements. The FEMA FIRM tab, which is the third tab over, contains the currently adopted flood hazard areas, which are used to determine flood risk and flood insurance rates. Pinellas County was part of a large multi-year FEMA coastal flood risk study to produce updated firms. The updated firm can be found on the next tab over, called Preliminary FEMA Firm. When the new firm is adopted, your flood insurance requirements may change. Rates may also be affected. So let's start by finding out what the current flood risk and insurance requirements are for an example property. So we're going to click on the FEMA firm. Remember, these are the currently adopted firm maps. And we're going to go to 400 St. Petersburg Drive, the Oldsmar Library. And it's that top one, so we'll just click on that. So here you have a, a pop-up where you can print this map if you wanted a copy of it. We're not going to do that today, so I'm going to X out of that. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit, and we're going to close this pop-up as well. So what this is telling us is this is a zone AE with an elevation of about nine feet. That's not the ground elevation, that's the base flood elevation, and that's rounded to a whole foot. So this could actually be as high as 9.4 because these numbers are rounded. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Everything that's shaded blue on the firm map is considered a high-risk area. They call it the special flood hazard area. Everything in the high-risk area is going to be required to have a flood insurance policy if it has a federally backed mortgage. That said, most lenders require flood insurance regardless of whether or not it's a federally backed mortgage. So the city of Oldsmar Library would be required to have a flood insurance policy because it's in this blue area. Anything in the blue is going to be required to have the flood insurance. This orange shaded area is a moderate risk area. So the risk is still there, it's just reduced a little bit. And then the unshaded area is the minimal flood hazard area. It's not removed again, there's still risk, but it's a lower risk. So all the unshaded and the shaded areas are X zones and preferred risk rate policies are available in these areas on almost all the structures. Down here in the blue, the risk is going to be evaluated based both on the zone and the base flood elevation, what your structure is built out of, when it was built, what the lowest floor elevation is, several things. So the important thing to look at here is how are things going to be affected with these new maps. So this is in an AE with a base flood elevation of about 9. We can see up here on the south side of this road, there's some commercial buildings. And they're right now considered moderate risk. So these areas right here, if you take a look right here by this 0.2% chance, this building right here, right now does not have to have flood insurance. They probably do because they're in a moderate risk zone, but it's not required. So let's take a look and see what happens to the library and take a look and see what happens to some of these commercial buildings down on the, on the southwest side of this road. Go over to the preliminary firm And we're going to type that same exact address in. So 400 St. Petersburg Drive, Oldsmar. And I'm just going to hit enter to zoom over to it. I'm going to just X out of this to close all those options and zoom out a little. So we're still in a shaded blue area. So we're still in that special flood hazard area. I'm going to go ahead and click right here on top of the library. If I wanted to download the map, I could do that right here on this pop-up. There's a little arrow. If you click on the arrow, it'll bring you to more information. And we look, we see base flood elevation is 12 now. If you remember, on the currently adopted one, it was 9. And this is rounded to a whole foot, of course, so this could be as high as 12.4. So with the new maps, they're estimating that the base flood elevation is actually 3 feet higher. 
And these new maps used updated information when they were developed and updated modeling techniques. Let's zoom over and take a look at those commercial buildings. I'm going to close this window so we can see. So if you remember, we had a lot of structures along the south side here that were in a shaded X before and a moderate risk. They're now in high risk. So this building right here may have been in a shaded X moderate risk before. Insurance was not required, but now it would be required. So anything going from a shaded X, that shaded orange or an unshaded X, that is now in the blue, in this special flood hazard area, the high risk area, the flood insurance is required. So take a look at this for your address, and if you are affected, contact your insurance agent to discuss the potential changes to your policy. For more information, please visit pinellascounty.org slash flooding. We have a slew of information on here. We will be setting up meetings so that you can talk to specialists about your flood insurance rates as well. Flood insurance tab, technical assistance. We have individuals on there that can also help answer your questions if your insurance agent is unable to assist you. Thank you for visiting the Pinellas County Flood Map Service Center. Have a great day.